Hi everyone, Melissa here. Today I am going to be doing some um, kind of wintry, kind of transition-y nails. I really wanted to do another plaid for this season because I just love doing plaids. Um, but I didn't want to do just plaid and I kind of had this other pine tree kind of idea and I was practicing it and it wasn't quite working out perfectly but I saw something else cool that I really liked um, in my practices so I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of that too. So we're gonna have some uh, fun making some fun designs. Now this plaid design is a little bit more complicated than ones I've done in the past except for maybe the uh, argyle plaid. That's probably the most complicated one I've done but for this kind of plaid it's definitely the most complicated. Anyway, the colors I'm going to be using today, I have uh, one and two from the Revel Coffee and Cream collection. I'm going to be kind of using both of them together to make just the color I want. I've got uh, Cedar and Jasper from Cascade Colorworks and Pining Over You from Double Dipped, just my like favorite pine green color. So I'm going to go ahead and put the solids down. I'm going to be doing Pining Over You on these three. And then um, I'm actually going to be doing a layer of Coffee and Cream 1. And then top it with Coffee and Cream 2. Because this is more opaque solid. And then this one adds a little bit more of like the uh, kind of warm creamy color on these two. Just those two layers. They're going to be the base for our designs. So I'm going to go ahead and get these colors down. And then we can get into the art. Okay, so I have the main colors down. I'm going to go ahead and activate and file all of these smooth. Um, I'll be filing these gently because I only have two layers on here. I'm just wanting to kind of clean up the shape and smooth out the surface. So we're going to uh, just get those nice and clean. Okay, I got those all filed up. Uh, I will say that I did end up changing the color that I had on these two nails because that layered, um, the layered colors weren't really giving me what I was looking for. So I switched to um, Double Dip Take My Money for the nice cream color. It's a little bit more sheer than I wanted, but uh, it still looks good and I think it's gonna be fine in the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into starting the plaid design. The first thing I'm gonna do is do a layer of dip base over the, um, the buffed dip. Now this is going to dry pretty quickly because there is activator in the lower layers and I want that. I want a nice, dry, smooth surface because I'm going to be drawing with gel base over the top of this and gel base over the top of just dip by itself because dip is still porous without it being sealed in. Um, the gel base will start to like seep into the pores a little bit and not make a nice straight line, which is what we're looking for for this design. I'm gonna be using uh, my little detail brush here. I'm gonna be using this just little, little plastic cap thing, and I'm gonna put some gel base in here that I can work with. Now for the plaid lines, I'm gonna be using cedar, pining over you, and some of this gelish art form 2D gel, and then a little touch of um, Jasper shimmer over the top of the matte finish on the plaid. So it'll just be like a last little touch. 
Um, but the first color I'm going to be working with is cedar. So I'm going to do open this up and get ready for some pour over. I'm just getting a little touch because this first line is going to be a really small, pretty small line. Nice and thin one. It can be difficult to get it perfectly straight, largely because with the base, with the gel base, you can't see um, the line you're drawing really, really well. And also because the gel base, because it's not as thick as like this stuff, um, it's more difficult to get a nice straight line. But that is okay because we have time to mess with it and straighten it and clean it up before we cure it. So you can see right now it looks a little bit of a mess, but I'm going to get the pusher end of my cuticle pusher, the, um, I mean the scraper end. I'm going to make sure that I use a file and before each line that I straighten out, I'm going to be using my file to clean off this edge to make it nice and straight. If you don't do that, you will notice that you're, you're having a more difficult time pushing a straight line. So I'm just going to use my little file. Just scraping off on both sides to clean that, make sure it's there is nothing on there. And then we're just going to kind of like push against the edge of this to straighten this out. Okay, so I've got that straightened out pretty well. I, the, the smaller the line is, the more difficult it is to get just right. But um, I think it's about as straight as I'm gonna get it, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna brush off the extra here. And I'm gonna do another, another um, brown line around here, um, a thicker one. Okay, I'm done with the brown. I'm just gonna make sure there isn't like any lingering uh, pigment anywhere on the cream color. And then I'm gonna do a layer of clear over the top of this, activate it and file it smooth, and then we'll do the next colors. All right, I'm gonna do a couple quick uh, dips of clear over the top of this and then activate that. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna start doing the tree thingy I wanna do on this one. Okay, now for this guy, um, kinda just gonna do like a little, like, ch -ch -ch, some like tree. Um, kinda, I'm gonna do it freehand with some gel base and then we're gonna pour painting over you over the top and um, when I practiced this one, when I was messing around with, with trying to do this tree thing I had in my mind yesterday, it turned out really cool. So uh, I hope that's still the case today. So I'm going to do 
do a layer of the dip base because I don't want this design I do um, seeping into the pores of the dip. So I'm just gonna throw this on there real quick and let that dry. So now I'm gonna get the gel, I'm gonna do three lines that are gonna be the trunks of the tree. I'm just gonna kind of I can't like see too well what I'm doing with the brush, but I'm just kind of like going across it, making like the impression of the shape. I mean, I can't really see it well either, so you and I are together on that. And then we'll pour over and see what happened. Okay, not too bad. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more in there. And all right, I'm gonna add a little more. Now that I can kind of see where I am, I'm gonna add some more, fill this out a little in spots with the darker color. Okay, so I just kind of flash cured that in place. Um, I think I want to throw in a little bit of a lighter green. I'm gonna mix um, the uh, Cascade Colorworks Lime, a little uh, pining. I don't actually have, I don't know, don't ask me why I don't actually have a color, a green that's this like lighter, uh, kind of like nature, nice nature green. So I'm gonna make one. And we're gonna use it to add just a little depth and, and uh, technically this will be kind of like highlight for the trees. But I'm wondering if I'll like it that green. I don't know. Let's see. Let's play. Okay. Okay, so that doesn't give, it didn't give a huge change. Um, oh, I think I'd have to do a little bit more, but that's certainly an idea I can play with for the future. But I do want to add some more of the darker green in here, not too much towards the bottom so that we get kind of fills in the base of the, where the trees are the better all right I'm gonna go ahead and, and cure this and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that I think that's that looks really cool I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that and then I'm gonna do a dip of clear over the top activate and file it okay I went ahead and put a dip top coat on um i am going to now buff it nice and nice and nice and really smooth and then do a gel matte top coat i want to get a really really smooth surface for this mat so that it is nice and clean so i'm going to go ahead and give these a light buff and then apply the uh, gel matte top coat all right now i can see my matte top coat is very nicely leveled and free of any kind of uh, dust or lint or anything. I'm going to go ahead and give that a full cure. All right, so now the matte top coat is um, all cured. And I was going to add a little bit extra, a little um, shimmer part to this on the top, but I kind of just love it the way it is, so I think I'm going to leave it like this. This was a very involved design. I know there was a lot to it, but I am obsessed. This might be one of my favorite ones. This year, I really love how the tree nail came out. I hope you like it too. Uh, let me know below what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, from what my husband's telling me. Only about a third of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. And I do have a 10K giveaway coming up soon. A 10K subscriber giveaway coming up in the next few weeks. So make sure that you subscribe so that you can win. Uh, and thank you as always for joining me. I'll see you next time.